Hello my friends! Did you know that Salesforce has a multi-currency feature? It comes very handy if you do business in multiple currencies, say in USD and Canadian dollars, or USD and Euros, or all three currencies that I mentioned. If you're interested to find out how, stay with me and I'll show you exactly right now. There are a couple of scenarios when multi-currency is super useful in Salesforce. This is you, say you're a CFO of an American corporation that sells a lot to Europe. When you close deals with German partners, the deal's currency is in Euros. So basically, your German clients are paying you in Euros, not USDs. So you're sending them goods, they, they are sending you Euros. The question now is, can you create opportunities in Euro currency? What do you think? Yes, if you enable multi-currency. What we're gonna do is, we'll enable multi-currency, then create Euro currency and enter its exchange rate. And here's how you do it. To enable multi-currency in your org's setup, type in company information. Click edit, then here's a checkbox, activate multiple currencies. Since I've already done once, it's checked off for me and grayed out. Once you enable it, you cannot deactivate it. So keep that in mind when you're enabling it. If you just want to experiment, better do it in your sandbox. After I've checked off the box, I click save. Then I can go currency setup. And here I type in new. I choose the currency. I, there is no euro here because I've already created it. Since I've already created the euro, I have it here and and here I see that 89 European cents equals to one dollar. All right, now let's go to an opportunity. And let's say I'm creating an opportunity that represents a sale to Europe. Let's say we're closing it today, it's done, and the amount is 1,000 euros, okay? It's a big sale to Germany and it's worth 1,000 euros. So you can see 1,000 euros here, and this is the equivalent amount in USDs. So that's how multiple currencies is great in that it converts it from the foreign currency to the local currency and it uses the exchange rate that we entered right here. Manage currencies. So we created an we created it in euros and it automatically converted to USD. And you saw that in parentheses we could see the dollars, right? The dollar equivalent. It's because of this setting. Parenthetical currency conversion is enabled. If you do not want to see the USD equivalent, you can click disable. Now let's go back to the opportunity. And now it'll just say Euro. But I like to see the USD equivalent parentheses, so I will enable this. So as we just saw, it is possible for a corporation using Salesforce to sell in Euros. You can create opportunities in Euros. All you have to do is just enable multi-currency, then create the Euro currency next and enter the exchange rate. After enablement, all currency fields display the ISO code of the currency before the amount. For example, $100 displays as USD 100. But this currency field, remember, is only visible when creating or editing the record. Once you save the record, the currency field is invisible. So don't be worried if you do not see this currency field, okay? The last point is very important. I would like to reiterate it. 
So C, right here it says Euro. If I click Edit, the Euro disappears and we just have the currency right here. Only when you click Edit, the currency field appears. So what I'm trying to say is that if you want to edit the currency, you cannot edit it by just clicking here. You cannot, there is no currency field. The only way to edit the currency is by clicking edit. This currency field is unusual. It only shows up on editing a record, okay? Great. Now I'd like to discuss a second scenario that you might encounter as a multinational corporation. So you are this person and you're managing the German operations. So you're still part of this one corporation and the head head company is in the US and so the corporate currency is USD but you had the company's fast growing German division therefore you do not really want to see the USD currency all you want to see is in euros so although the corporate currency is USD can you make your default currency to be euro yes all you have to do is go to your user detail to change your personal currency to euro this is a opportunity in euros thousand euros and this is showing your personal currency but say you only want to see the euro you don't really care about the us currency because you're the cfo of the german division all we have to do is go to your user detail click edit and make your currency euro okay now your currency is euro right here and now let's go to the opportunity and what do we see there is no conversion to usd what do you notice there is no conversion to usd because it knows that your personal currency is euro there is no need for you to see the usd do you get it if you have any questions leave a comment below say you're the cfo of the parent company this is you and here's a u.s corporation and your opportunities in euros are getting converted as we discussed earlier right you're sending goods they're sending euros but the euro has been really unstable the past year so here's what's happening a 1,000 euro opportunity closed on February 1st, 2019 was worth 1,200 USD. And a 1,000 euro opportunity closed earlier on December 1st, 2018 is worth just 1,000 USD. So as you can see, the euro is fluctuating. And when we convert it to USD, we cannot use a static exchange. Changing the exchange rate automatically updates all converted amounts, including on close opportunities. Therefore, we cannot use static exchange rates. How can we take into account the fluctuating exchange rate? Any ideas? Once again, how can we take into account the fluctuating exchange rate? What should we do? The solution is advanced currency management advanced currency management okay advanced currency management is used to track historical exchange rates and here's how you use it in setup you type in currency then here advanced currency management is not enabled let's enable it and now let's manage our dated exchange rates so for this range, March 10 and after, we're using this exchange rate for Euro. Let's look at the previous range, March 1st to March 9. Just for the purpose of the example, let's say 2 Euros was worth $1, okay? And before we go in and create an opportunity in this range, let's change our personal currency to USD
okay now let's go to an opportunity the close date has to be in this range for us to make use of this exchange rate so let's do March 2nd March 2nd sale to Germany closed one and let's say it was 1000 euros again this was a deal we did earlier so on March 2nd and it was in euros 1000 euros when I click save what do you think we'll see we'll have parentheses what will be in the parentheses 500 USD right because that's what we said we said that if a deal closes between March 1st and March 9th it will be using this exchange rate so this means a euro is worth half as much as US USD and this is what we see fantastic just to recap you use advanced currency management to track historical exchange rates so this is very useful if you have fluctuating exchange rate and converted currency amounts on opportunities display based on the specified close date as you can as you could see right in the last opportunity i created the close date had to be in the date range of the exchange rate to take to have effect if the close date was later say april 1st it would have been the i would not have been using the exchange rate that i created right two euros for one dollar if the close date changes so if that opportunity that i created for march 2nd if i had changed the close date to april 1st you'll be using the exchange rate from the later period okay pop quiz what is the use case for multi-currency think about it write it down okay second why would you use personal currency that is different from the corporate currency think about it we covered this why would you use personal currency that is different from corporate currency third what's a use case for advanced currency management think about it right now and what is parenthetical currency conversion now if you really want to master this topic do these things First, go ahead and activate multi-currency multi in your production org, in your dev org, or even better, sandbox. Create some opportunity records in different currencies and see how they appear different. In, make sure to enable parenthetical currency conversion and create a couple of currencies and use those different currencies, okay? All right, that's it. Thank you so much for your attention. If you have any questions, write them down and leave your comments below the video. Thank you so much.